Welcome to the developer's commentary for Dragon Lead In. Here I will walk through the decisions I made during development to give the experience that the Dragon Lead In provides. Here the player is granted with a feed in to a third person conversation with a sniper jumps between the actors talking to convey clearly to the player who's speaking. Once the player is done with that, they can walk through and see that they are in third person and not first person. player can talk to who's in the tavern to see what's going on. One will also notice that I have made a custom UI rather than the basic UI that is provided with the dialogue system at the During this walk, I'll be clicking the correct options to progress the collection to get to things faster so I can show everything. That pop up there is to help tell the player that hey, there's a quest log. So when you press J, it shows up. There's a little box to show those tracking as it tracks on start, which you can see in the top right corner. It has a little slow task which helps guide the player to what they need to do next. And the player can also click on the quest within the journal to get a better description of everything that just happened. Pressing J closes it again. One thing to point out, also, is that every NPC will almost always remember when the player has spoken to them already. So, before we have to stop, now we have you again. What? This is something you'll see throughout this. Now that we have talked to Crane about the train, and we have one, we have the dialogue option to handle the train. Continuing the quest. There is the quest log pop up again. After a certain point, no more quest log pop ups occur because the game assumes that the player knows how to open the quest log at this point. Red X is underlined to emphasize English. Alex are used to emphasize actions or dramatic. Green X to call attention to the player's eye of what content has not been introduced yet. is the final time the quest log pop up appears. I will be speaking the fastest option to get to the quest. If you'd like to look things in more detail, please feel free to check out the video channel. As you can see, Ruben tells you a different thing now that you've talked to him about the door and whatnot. Now you've tried the door, you get a little pop up telling you feedback why I said the door is locked. That way it doesn't feel like a false affordance to the player. You now have the option of saying why is the door locked, that way you can interact with the doors. Now we get a pre able to help, because the quest just says to talk to guests in the tavern. Now if they've talked to everyone else, and that's what they're given, they might be lost, hence why there's the pop to once again guide the player. Since we saw that the door is locked, we have a choice to say, hey, the door's locked. We 
you will have to play the without effort in the bullet later. And then red to say, hey, it might be on the ground somewhere. Now we press to find the key. So looking around, don't see it, don't see it, check the quest log. Cool. And what's that? You may have noticed it already, but there's a key with some sparkly particles on it. The particles are there to help draw the player's attention as to what stands out in the room. Otherwise, it would blend in easily to the theme. If that is not enough for the player, the player can once again speak to Brain. He will give you another hint of light shining on it. This is supposed to imply to the player something spark, something glinting will be with the key. That's why there's one. You pick it up, it looks sad enough to the public that you picked it up to give feedback to the player, and then it disappears, so it has 